Free public Wi-Fi can be found in popular places such as airports, hotels, and even your favorite coffee shop. These so-called Wi-Fi hotspots are so common that people frequently connect to them without thinking of the tremendous number of risks that go along with these networks. Most of those risks are related to man-in-the-middle attacks. A man-in-the-middle attack occurs when a malicious actor intercepts communication between two parties. There are various types of attacks, but one of the most common is to intercept a user's request to access a website, and then send back a response with a very convincing spoof of the legitimate website, tricking them into revealing their credentials and other sensitive information. This type of attack may occur with pretty much any website, from email providers to online banking. In some cases, the attackers only want to pick up users' internet traffic to identify browsing patterns and dig out personal data, such as credit card information or login credentials. Typically, this type of attack is performed by creating a fake Wi-Fi network with a name that seems legitimate and what is often very similar to the one of a nearby store or company. This technique, also known as the evil twin method, allows attackers to collect data from any device that establishes a connection. So the next time you really need to use a public Wi-Fi, make sure to check with an employee whether it's authentic and secure. There are plenty of software kits and even hardware devices available that can be utilized to monitor and gather information from the network traffic. These tools, also known as packet sniffers or snoopers, are often used by legitimate IT professionals to find security holes and discover cyber attacks in private organizations, but can also be utilized by attackers to gather sensitive information and perform illegal activities. Every time a user logs in to an online account, a cookie is sent to their device. Cookies are small files that web browsers collect from websites and are designed to hold a small amount of data specific to a particular client and website. For example, a cookie could hold a token that allows users to remain logged in without having to enter their credentials every time they visit a particular website. A cookie theft is something that happens when a malicious actor successfully intercepts and steals the cookies you are using to communicate with websites. This is something that is often related to an attack known as the session hijacking. A successful session hijacking allows an attacker to impersonate the victim and communicate with websites on their behalf. By utilizing the victim's cookies and gaining access to the ongoing session, the attackers can have an access to personal emails, social media, and other websites that may contain sensitive information. How you can protect yourself from man-in-the-middle attacks Turn off any setting that allows your device to connect automatically to available Wi-Fi networks and turn off Bluetooth if you're not using it. Use password-protected Wi-Fi networks whenever possible. Avoid any financial or other highly sensitive activities when using public networks. Turn off file sharing and log out of accounts you're not using. Utilize websites which use the HTTPS protocol. But keep in mind that some attackers might perform HTTPS spoofing, so this measure is not entirely foolproof. When you need access to sensitive or business-related data, using a virtual private network, or VPN, is always recommended. Don't trust the name of a Wi-Fi just because it is similar to the name of a store or a company. Make sure to check with an employee whether it's authentic and secure. The most important rule in cybersecurity is that there is no such thing as a totally secure network. Understanding public Wi-Fi risks will keep you safe from most types of attacks. To learn more, don't forget to watch our other videos at Binance Academy.